a crack now, sit your ass down. I got stuff I never had now. I can brag now. Yeah, my niggas they gon' spread. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy J Man Flow, aka Mr. Less. Let's go. Bringing y'all another Madden 17 tip. Oh, a lot of people been asking me how to do this. J Man, how do you cross man? What plays can you cross man out of? When do you cross man? What to do when you cross man? This, 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 this. Ah, I got it off you today. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Even if you're not new to the channel, leave a like for your boy. Pause the video right now. Let's try to get this video to like 1,000 likes. That's all I'm asking for. 1,000 likes for your boy. Like I said, uh, also, I think that's it. We're gonna, we about to hop straight into this, though. I don't think there's nothing else. Like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. Roll to, roll to 100K is still on. Make sure y'all subscribe. I'm trying to hit 20K before New Year's. I, we got five days left. I don't know if it's possible. We got like 6,000 subs to go. But hey, we'll see. We'll see. Anything's possible. But, but your boy J man, but like I said, let's get into this cross man. Like I said, you can use any play. Like I'm gonna just go over cover two drop. A very popular play to use is the DB fire two press because you can just man up the two blitzing corners. I'm gonna just use a like a cover two for example. Just like you can use anything though. Know, like, but the plays you really want to use it with is a cover two, like a cover two style defense or maybe man coverage or like cover. Like you don't really really want to use it in cover three because. You want to make sure you, the, the good thing about cross man is when you do cross man out of a cover two type defense, or even if you cross man out of cover four, you can still like cover the flats, or you can cross man out of cover three too, but like, it's what's nice about cover two is you have the flats covered, so you don't really have to worry about that, and that's what like a lot of people like to hit in Madden. So the first thing about cross man is this, people you're going to be cross man and not your D-line, you can, you can probably cross man if you got a linebacker in your D-line, but basically people over here... Like people in the middle, you can cross man sometimes. I usually don't. But cross man and basically taking someone from across the field and manning them up on someone across the field, just like that. Take his guy, man him up on that. Yeah, like J man, why would someone do this? This is this is dumb. Like you know, this is stupid. Who would? Why would you? That's not gonna work. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, in real life this won't work, but it's mad and y'all know how messed up the game is. But this is how it looks when you cross man. Uh, it really makes it difficult. Like, y'all see how easy the corners cover better? Like, y'all see how much better they cover? Just because, I, I know it's dumb, y'all. I know, it, like, if someone's running full speed at you and you're running towards them, you shouldn't be able to turn on a dime and keep up with them. Yeah, but it's mad. Like I said, when you want to cross, man, you basically want to just man somebody up from across the field. That's all you want to do. Like, everybody's running it nowadays. Like, any good player running it. Uh, and y'all like, Jamie, how do you know who to cross, man? You know who to cross man by what your opponent likes to do. Like, if your opponent likes to run slants with this outside receiver, then you can cross man him. You know what I'm saying? But if he doesn't like to run slants and he never uses that outside receiver, like, uh, and he does something like this, then you don't have to cross man him. You can just, just make, or you can man the running back if he doesn't use his outside receivers. But really, you're, every time they, they do something, you're just adjusting, basically. So, and they're adjusting to what you're doing. So when everything is locked, like I said, when they when you lock everything up, they're gonna be like, okay, he's cross manning, so let me do something like this, cause he's not cross manning my X receiver, so I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna drag this guy, and this time I'm gonna slant him, because now they're gonna, cause they're gonna, good players are gonna pick up who you're cross manning, and they will make adjustments to what you are doing, like that's just, that's naturally just gonna happen. So say you, say you do forget to, uh, say you don't cross man the outside receivers, cause he hasn't been using them the whole game. Now when he hikes the ball, oh man, he got two slants wide open. And that's just a good play by him. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a good adjustment by him. But now next time, you can be like, okay, I think I know know what he's doing. So you can do something like, okay, so now he's cross man. Now I'm a cross man this guy with him. I'm a cross man this guy with X. And then I'm going to watch Y myself. And I'm a cross man this guy with B. And you know what I'm saying? You can do something like that. So now you can do that, and but now you're like, okay, now I can just watch X myself because everybody's covered. But now you see Y it's open on a drag route. I mean, I was supposed to watch Y. My bad, my bad. Like I said, that's what cross man it is. It's just basically it's like a chess match. Like it's literally a chess match because one one play you might cross man him with him, the next play you might cross man the tight end. You you know what I'm saying? So it's really all up to y'all. Like one play you might not even cross man anybody. You might have one person cross man. You want to just sit in some zone coverage. But, and that's okay too. Like, see, that's not bad. Because zone coverage ain't bad either, guys. See, everybody think you have to cross man and win. Sometimes, like, leaving people in their right zones can help just as much. Like, you don't have to cross man every play. And I actually think that's where a lot of people mess up because they do too much cross manning. Because the worst thing you can do in cross manning is when someone does this. And you're like, okay, I got everybody manned up. I'm going to watch X. So, say you do got everything on lock. But then the next play, now look. He runs a, now he streaks his halfback. You cross man everybody, so there is no zone there. 
You, there's no like, and that's the easiest way to beat cross man. If you streak your halfback, because people cross man so many people nowadays. Like, just watch the like. If y'all just watch the games, like they do, like they cross man too much. And yeah, you might have everybody locked up. Like, oh, they be like, okay, everything should be locked. Whatever. Like, like look at that zone. You, you, all you gotta do is that with the running back. Like, if you just do that, like, look at this, y'all. Like, literally, literally. That, like, that's why I say, like, you want to leave some zones on field. Like, you don't have to cross man people every play. Maybe you just want to cross man this guy uh, and then cross man Y and be like, okay, I'll just watch uh, the slants myself. from Because now you can be like, okay, now Parker, if Parker runs a slant, I got a hook zone there. So the only thing I have to worry about, really, is a slant from Landry because if the running back does a streak, that's covered too. So then they hike the ball. Like you, like I said, you don't have to cross man in everybody every play. Now, now I'm really, and that's that. Like and that's all what cross man it is. It's just you adjusting your opponent. Remember, you can do this out of any defense. But like y'all know the basics of cross man. Just all you want to do is cross man people from across the field. You can really do this in any defense. Uh, even if you go something like I don't know, cover four. Like if y'all like to cross man out of cover four. Like if that's the, if that's the move nowadays. Now we go here. Okay, say you like to lead these guys in Kyle Flats and you just want to cross man one linebacker. That's fine too. Or you want to cross man, or you want to do, I don't know what y'all do. You can man that guy up there and do that. I mean, that's not, that's, bro, like literally y'all, uh, y'all can do whatever y'all want with this uh, blitz. And now you're only watching a slant. You see, like y'all can cross man out of any formation. But with, with cross man, it just make sure, make sure like with cross man, like you can cross man in blitzes too. Like you don't have to just, you don't have to just cross man and cover too. Like, even if we're using a slant zone too, like a lot of people cross man and blitzes, and that's what makes their blitzes so successful. People be like, oh no, he just got some crazy heat. Like, how how is his slant zone too working better than mine? Actually, it's not. He just cross manning so good, and he's manning up people so much. Like, if he just set the ball up, like this is how I would set up my slant zone too. Then I would man him up, and I'll cross man that guy. So now, if he runs a slant with this guy, or uh, like if he does anything. Like now, boom, that's locked. So now all I have to watch is a running back. And people be like, yo, his slant zone too is so OP. No, I mean, it's just his cross man. Like you can cross man out of blitzes. You can cross man out of any formation. But I hope this helped y'all. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this. But until then, it's your boy, J-Mail Flow, a.k.a. Mr. Let's Get It 